Hi, this is Greg McCoach, editor of The Mining Speculator. I'm here today at the Vancouver Metals Investor Forum in January, and I'm with President and CEO Paul Cowley of First Vanadium Corp. Paul. Hi, Greg. Nice to, nice to see you. Yeah, glad you can be here. So, Thanks. I, I think one of the things that I wanted to take the time with uh, those that are watching this interview is that <clears throat> I don't think most investors understand what vanadium is. It's, it's not a very common term that they've heard of. Right, right. And let, let's first talk about the nature of the metal and what it's used for. Okay, certainly. Yeah, vanadium is primarily used in the steel sector. About 90% of vanadium goes into that, so it, it, it lightens and strengthens steel. So structural steel, rebar, pipelines, jet aircraft, all that kind of stuff, stuff that needs infrastructural things that need good quality steel. Yeah. That's where most of it's going. Yeah. And how about the electrical there, yeah. electrical vehicle market? I mean, that's that's it's a well. The energy side is very very intriguing. It's small at this stage, but it's and it's moved from research and development to actual implementation, commercialization. So, large batteries that store uh, energy for uh, um, power companies to modulate peak energy, yeah. uh, backup generators, so to speak, uh, to store large gigawatts of power. Right. Uh, and that's not available in, in other types of, of batteries. Um, the other aspect, which is, is uh, and that's a growing sector, um, the uh, electric car batteries. There's, right. That's something that's, that's on the fringes that we all know that's going to be an explosive opportunity here. And there's vanadium that's going into those batteries. Some, some there's several types of chemistries of, uh, of these EV batteries. And there's one that uses a lot more vanadium than the others. That's mm -hmm. where we think that in, in the five to ten years range, vanadium demands will be double yeah. to where they are right now. And there's just not enough of it uh, at this at, right. in the commercial um, production uh, for that to to, 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 to meet materialize, that, yeah. To meet that. So yeah. anybody who is now building a vanadium company that builds a good resource should be in the, in the money big time if that develops the way people are thinking. Correct, yeah. Yeah, so. And vanadium prices as reflected this higher demand over the last three to five years, there's been more demand growing every year, uh, outstripping the supply line. It's a tight right. supply line. So we've seen in the last three years that vanadium prices increasing from a typical sort of three or four dollars a pound, went up as high as thirty-four dollars a pound, mm. just in September, uh, October. Right. Um, it's it's come off a bit naturally because it, it in September, October it was uh, went too fast from around the $20 to $34, yeah. so it was a natural pullback. But it's, it's leveling off, it looks like it's leveling off around the $18, $20 range, which is a good healthy number, a lot right. more than it was before. Right, and there's not a whole lot of competition in this space. There's, there's some other companies, but you yeah. know. There's some good companies out there, but not that many. Right. And, and projects, like, like and, and we've, what we see is that the amount of, of new supply coming on from existing producers is going to be slow because those capital expenditures are expensive right. uh, and, and takes sometimes two or three years to implement. And new projects that are out there on the wings, now that vanadium prices are, are on the rise, they're dusting off projects or advancing them, and they, they look a lot, a lot yeah. better now. Um, they're still very capital intensive. So right. it's going to, re um, with vanadium prices still sort of not sure where, uh, where it's going to settle. Uh, for the longer term, it's harder for financiers to fund a billion dollar project. Right. So everybody that's got these projects, they're going to have to tone it down, do it more like a pilot operation, just to get into production at a smaller scale. Right. So that's why I see in the next, you know, three to five, ten years, a number of new projects coming on stream, but they'll have to be small inputs because that's the way, you're, the only way they're going to get financed. Right. And so that's a little better behaved as right. opposed to a big project coming on blasting the price down. Right. I don't see that's going to happen. Right. So what I'm seeing is, uh, you know, the high tech applications, whether it's strengthening steel used in high tech applications or the battery application, uh, it looks like there's plenty of room to grow. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the that's the impetus for investing in a company like yours, First Vanadium. Um, so now let's take a different tack. Let's, let's go into your company. Mm. What's your flagship project? Why are you so excited about it? So we're focused on the Carlin Vanadium project, which is located in, interestingly enough, in the Carlin Gold Trend. Oh. It's a very, very successful um, producer of, of amazing amount of gold. And so all Newmont and Barrick 
Right. They basically own that trend and are, have been mining there for decades. Right. All that infrastructure is available to us. Right so there, we're, yeah. we're at an amazing location. Hard to beat. You know, right. it's, a, it's a great jurisdiction to You got all the mining permit. people right there. You all got the all the supplies. Yeah. All the, plier, yeah, the suppliers, the mining contractors. Uh, there's like seven drilling companies in that valley. It just doesn't get any better than that. That's right. right. Yeah, we're 40 minutes from Home Depot. Right. You know, so that's uh, it is a great yeah. location. Um, and then the project itself has got some fantastic uh, merits because it's it's shallow and near surface. So very economic. Uh, so it it it's the stripping ratio looks like it's going to be two and a half to one. Yeah. Um, and and that and it's a large deposit with with very good grades. Uh, we've done two drill programs on it. Uh, there's 216 holes into it now. We're looking to do a, a 43101 resource uh, um, in the next month. Uh, so that's going to quantify all of the historic drilling, and and our our 89 holes that we've right. put on. There's 216 holes that are now. So that people should watch for that one. That's okay. going to be a, a quantifying um, the work that we've done. And, and it's, our work has been the, is the first work that's been done since the 1960s. And so, what is the the price of vanadium per pound? Right now, there's 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 a Chinese price and a European price, and the average between the two is about eighteen dollars a pound. Eighteen dollars. Okay. Yeah. So, based on what you're looking at economics, there should be plenty of room there for for a nice profit. We're that's, that's the stage where we're we're moving into. We've done uh, metallurgical work, and we're we're still ongoing on that uh, to. But these studies quantify. will really. And those studies will determine the economics. Economics. So that's we were looking to move in 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 this year to do an economic study, like a. a uh, pre-feasibility. Yeah. And th that's what everybody will need to see to have it as an independent study to, to get the economic viability. Right. But certainly with the grades that we have, um, which, you know, because there's not a lot of vanadium projects out there, it's hard to quantify. People right. don't know what... They don't know. Point, that's right. Two percent V two O five means. I'm learning. I'm learning right. as we're going so, along here. So I... Know, a lot of people relate to gold, so that's the equivalent of five grams of gold. Mm. So, so that's why it gets people's attention. Yeah. When you relate it to gold, it's probably yeah. an easier correlation. Yeah, there. or if it's a copper, if people understand copper, it's like a three and a half percent copper deposit. Wow. Yeah. So that's so that's good. It is very interesting. So let's get some uh, just basics out of the way. What's your symbol? I, I didn't ask you. It, it's F van. F V A N. F is in Frank. V A N. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. That's, that's the Toronto Venture Exchange. We're also listed in the OTC QX. QX under That's F V A N F, F V A N F again, yeah. Frank. Right. All right. So, what's your share structure? Uh, we've got uh, just under thirty-nine million shares. So, it's so really tight, tight share structure. Yeah. yeah. Um, about sixteen percent is owned by the, by the insiders, and about thirty percent in about ten hands. Okay. So, a very fairly tight uh, share structure. Uh, we've got two million dollars in, in the treasury right now, and so. the warrants that we have, you know, we're trading around the eighty cent. Uh, range uh, right now. Uh, our warrants are in at around 24 or at 24 cent and 45 cents, so they're well in the money, and that can bring another 2.6 million dollars wow. in the treasury. So we're we're very healthy right very now. Very healthy right yeah. now. This is good. Yeah. So overall, it's uh, the base metals are oriented more to the growth model of the world, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's been it's been going yeah. going your way. Do we have a hiccup here? You know, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows the future, but right. uh, it, it seems no matter what happens, you know, there's going to be a need for vanadium in our future because right. of its high tech applications. Right. The, the, our, I, I would say that the more our, our world now is requiring taller buildings, yeah. wider spans of bridges, right. and that re requires and, and larger aircraft. Right. And all of that requires more vanadium. More vanadium. That's so. the way our world is going. Right, and I, I see that as a plus. So you've got yeah. a good situation, good project, and we'll keep an eye on it. I've been following you now for a little while. Yeah. Just that you're on my radar screen and you're, you're getting my interest there. So awesome. appreciate you being here. Thank you, Greg. Thanks for the All interview. Right. Take care.